In this lesson, we are going to create product details screen. When you are in the home page and select a product, you will be redirected to product details screen. Here you have product image, description, and a box to add product to cart and show the status and price of the product. Let's get to code. To implement this feature, we need to create a file named square bracket id closing square bracket js in products folder inside pages so right click in pages new folder set folder name to products and inside that i'm going to create a new file set file name to id.js copy the content of index.js i mean the home screen and then scroll up change function home to function product after this change we are going to get product from props not products because we are going to show only one product okay make it product and remove the content inside layout get rid of all content inside layout you have an empty content here for product we are going to get the product from get static props from server side. Let's do that. First of all, we need to get the parameter ID from the URL. Put the parameter inside variable ID using the constructing assignment and then create an instance of get e-commerce. And instead of getting product list, I'm gonna get products.retrieve by ID and the type of ID is permanent link. So at this point, I have the product from Commerce JS API. What I need to return is to only return product here. That's it about get static props in the server side. We connect to Commerce JS backend, get the product information and pass it to the render function, the component here. In the component, we need to show product information in three columns the first columns is for image second for details and the third for action adding item to cart first of all inside layout create an, a slide inside a slide create a grid and the first grid here occupy half of a screen and shows the image of product second grid is gonna show the details of product it's a list item that shows product name and product description because product description is in html format in commerce.js dangerously set in your html to show the html in correct format in the screen and the last column is very important here create the last column inside that we are going to create a card like this inside the card create a list and inside list the first list item is gonna be this it shows the price and i'm using grid to show them in two columns second list item is this status if product.quantity is greater than zero, show in a stock. I'm using alert and severity success. If it's equal to zero, it's unavailable. Okay. If product.quantity is greater than zero, then I can show add to cart button. So here I'm using this conditional rendering. And inside that, what I did is to check product.quantity. So what I can do here, I want to create a list item like this. In this list item, I create a grid, the caption, the label is quantity. And here there is a select box to choose items from one to product.quantity. Just create a select box, okay? for sure the last list item is gonna be a button and the button is add to cart i need to implement add to cart handler to implement add to cart handler i need to create a function 
right before return function. Scroll up, right before return. Here I need to implement add to cart handler. Here is the body of this function. I just console log because it's the topic of next lesson. Add to cart and type to do before that. Great. For quantity, let's set an state here. It just get the quantity that user selected. And for components slash layout, make it slash dot dot and do the same for utils because the ID is in products folder. It's, you know, one level deeper compared to index.js. The next change is scroll down and change the name of get static props to get server side props because we are using ID in the URL and we have to change it to the get server side props to render it properly in the server side. At the very beginning, we need to import user state from React like this and let's define classes inside product component right here and import user style from utils.style. Also, there is no need to have cart action, content, and media, and change them to list and list item. Also, we have used select. Let's import select from material UI core and menu item and button. Great, here is the result. We created a very simple but elegant product details screen. It shows product price, status, and quantity. And there is an add to cart that we need to implement that in next lesson. We have product image and product details here. If you go to home screen and select another product, you will see the details of that product that's set about this lesson until next lesson, which is about adding product to the shopping cart. Bye-bye.